Hi guys, I'm Karen Blacher. As promised, I'm bringing you the next in my line of superhero masks. Today we're going to do a flash mask. Very similar in concept to the Superman mask I've shown you already. It's the emblem in the center of the forehead. You build the mask out around it, fill in with a sponge. So it's very simple, very quick, popular with the little boys. And as always, the emblem can be done separately as a cheat guard if you are short on time. Now the Flash's emblem is an elongated yellow lightning bolt on a small white circle. You can draw the white circle first. I prefer to start with the lightning bolt because what I find is if I draw the circle first, I have a very hard time centering the lightning bolt over it because you start drawing your lightning bolt at the top, not in the middle. So I do the lightning bolt first and then draw in the, uh, the circle behind it. So I'm going to start with a DFX Metallics Yellow and a number four round brush starting right in the center of my forehead I am going to put in my lightning bolt so it starts and ends at a point so point and it cuts right across the forehead almost like a Harry Potter scar and it is kind of an elongated lightning bolt because usually when you draw a lightning bolt you're only doing this part and this has the extra little Z and it ends in a point. All right. Then I'm going to come back in with some DFX white and put in a small white circle behind the lightning bolt. The, the circle is only going to come from like this point to this point. It doesn't cover the whole lightning bolt. Incidentally, when I do this on a child, I do it much faster. I'm being careful here because I would like the finished product to actually look tutorial worthy. So forgive me for taking my time. All right. So there you have the flash logo. Now we are going to outline this because yellow and white doesn't give you much of a contrast, but before I outline it, I'm going to toss on, while my paint is still wet, I'm going to toss on just a touch of iridescent glitter. I want to do this before I do the black, so that the black really provides a contrast and makes it pop. So I'm going to toss on a little bit of iridescent glitter. Then I'm going to take a super skinny brush. This is a number one round. I'm going to load it up in DFX black. And I'm going to outline now my lightning bolt and the little circle that it's on. And now I apologize, a part of my desk broke yesterday, so now my arm is kind of hitting up against my setup here. So I'm sorry that I'm sort of going to block the camera as I paint. I'll do my best not to. Outlines on your own forehead when your arm is hitting a desk are the worst. I have now discovered. Okay, so I've outlined the lightning bolt, and I'm just going to also now outline the circle. Like so. So there's your flash emblem. The flash's emblem goes on a red field, so I'm going to pick up a number four, a slightly fatter round brush. I'm going to grab some DFX red. I'm going to go around the emblem here. If you're doing this as cheek art, I would kind of do almost a scribbly look with the red behind it. Like I said, always put the background color. I said this on the Superman mask. Always do include the background color, even if you're only doing it as a cheek art, because that's what makes it recognizable as a superhero's logo. So if you're doing this as a cheek art, once you've kind of carefully outlined, just kind of flick it out and make it look like it's sort of scribbled in, like so. Just do sort of a rough rectangle or whatever shape you want to do, but do a shape. 
don't just leave it as an outline. So if you're doing it as a cheek art, there it is. If you're doing it as a mask, you now have to create the shape of the mask. So the flash's mask does come around the eyes, but it leaves relatively wide spaces around the eyes, which I would do even if it didn't, because on children I always like to leave as much space around the eyes as I can. So you come down the nose, like so. We have relatively straight lines here, down around the eyes. And over here at the cheek, we're actually going to come down in a little additional shape. The flash's mask sort of mimics the shape of the lightning bolt. So he actually has an extra little piece that sort of comes out over his cheek like that. Like that. And I'm going to do this on the other side as well. To finish the shape of that mask. Try to get it as symmetrical as possible. Just gonna bring that more of a straight line across the nose. The flash's mask really has a lot of very straight lines. I'm gonna outline the eye a little more. I'm following the line of the brow here because the Flash's mask actually has something of like a furrowed brow sort of look. So it really it mimics the line of the eyebrow, which is very convenient if you're painting it. So just circle the eyes in almost like a goggles kind of look. I'm coming straight down from the edge of the eyebrow just because that's a handy reference point to make sure that it's even. There's the shape of the mask. I'm just going to come in now and fill it in with a sponge. All the way up to the hairline. I try to run all of my masks all the way up to the hairline because it is so much easier than having to, divide, to, to uh, define a top edge. So, you know, make it easier on yourself. Run all your masks to the hairline. That is my face painting advice for the day. Because why wouldn't you, really? So just filling in with the red. Like so. And I'm just going to, you can see I kind of left it a little sloppy around the nose here, so I'm just going to widen that line. Widen it out so it's almost coming like as an upside down V down onto the nose. Again, handy to use the eyebrows as a reference to make sure that you're even on both sides. Provided, you know, the kid doesn't have a unibrow. Sadly, some of them do. We pretend not to notice. All right, there you go. And just to define the edge of this one, because black looks so good against red, I do like to outline this mask in a black with a nice skinny brush. If you have time. If you don't have time, it can be done right here. But if you have time, just give a little more definition to those edges. nice black line.
Again, this is really not a necessary step. If you have a long line, you can skip it. And then I'm also just going to add some quick white highlights to really give it that three-dimensional sort of quality. So I'm going to grab my DFX white on my number four brush. And just sort of create that illusion of depth by putting some white sort of shine marks, not too symmetrical various places around the mask and on the lightning bolt as well and there you have it a flash superhero mask I'll turn here so that you can get a better view very very similar like I said to the Superman except that it's the flash so there you have it you can now add this to your collection of superhero offerings hope you enjoyed it hope you can use it thanks